Howdy. Welcome to episode six for my breakfast tea and bourbon riddle series of inspiration. This one I'm calling Odds and Ends, as I've got multiple different ideas I had that didn't quite fit any particular theme. And let's begin. If you want to know anything about the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle, look at my first one, Just the Facts, my first video. That'll give you sort of just the facts information. Um, let's get into some different inspiration. One of my ideas is the fact that bourbon red in the riddle, where bourbon red is capitalized. And my main question is, why is it capitalized? Yes, bourbon red is a type of turkey, but Having it capitalized made me think maybe B and R is an abbreviation for something. And because we're looking for a location, uh, one of my ideas was maybe it's like a city. Uh, for example, Boca Raton in Florida has BR in it. Uh, another idea I had was related to the book treasure hunt and if you worked on the book treasure hunt, uh, you'll remember that the circles that were embossed into the cover of the book ended up being actual locations that the characters in the book traveled, where we now realize that they started in New Orleans and they ended up in Arkansas. However, uh, for the purpose of this riddle, one of my ideas was that since the book was the first treasure hunt, and the riddle is the second treasure hunt. If you went back and tried to figure out where the second location was, it's actually from New Orleans, Louisiana. They went to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So my idea is that perhaps Bat Baton Rouge is somehow related into the location where that four inch by four inch location is to figure out the riddle. So another idea, and this was posted by Who Trolls Nye on the Mysterious Writings Forum. Uh, one of his ideas was that if you take the five capital letters from the riddle, I, B, R, W, and I, if you took those five letters and right between the I's is B, R, W, which is the airport code for Barrow, Alaska. And if you know different things. Arrow is an important thing. Uh, he even found this signpost. Man, it looks, looks pretty good. Uh, so it's a good idea. Maybe there's something similar in, for what the actual solution is. One, another, this is one of my ideas. I had, uh, we have in the end, the question is, where am I? And this is a common, well, what am I is a, is a common riddle question at the end. But if you actually look in, maybe I, instead of you know a certain location, maybe we're supposed to look at all of the eyes that are in the riddle. And there's five of them, if you don't include where am I. There's five words. Maybe that's where you start to figure out the riddle. I don't know. Could be. Another idea I had is at the very beginning, it's... I fly like a realized bourbon red. Well, actually, and this is kind of related to who trolls and I was talking about between the eyes, there is an I fly that actually is out there. Now, I couldn't find any, you know, uh, monuments or statues or anything related to this, but it was one of my ideas. Another one, and this is one of my ideas, is that in darts, so you can get this up here, darts. Here we go. Uh, one of the old terms for butt is a dartboard. And I was looking for, a, maybe there's a, a dartboard statue or monument somewhere. And I, I found one outside the basketball stadium in Sacramento, but I, I don't know, it didn't, didn't work out to me that that's one of the things. But I just thought it was interesting that when you look up butt, 
that it's a type of dartboard in the an old time term for a dartboard. Uh, another idea I had, or another thing I found out was that a archery target was also called a butt in historical terms. And I, I was like, man, you, you, you would think because we're looking for a location, maybe it's a dartboard, maybe it's some type of archery target. Seemed like a good idea. Uh, it, maybe it, someone else can take that information and move on. Uh, one another idea, and this was posted by Astri on Mysterious Writings. What if it's a pointy head is the headwaters for a turkey river or a turkey creek? I thought that was a, that was a good idea. Uh, another one of Astri's ideas was that a realized turkey, where realized is kind of the oddball word in the riddle, maybe that means that a realized turkey is a turkey that's ready to be eaten. Could be. Uh, another one of my ideas, and this was related to me looking up different synonyms for bourbon, realized bourbon and red. And one of the synonyms for red is rose, for the color rose. But if you throw in a search engine for bourbon rose, there actually is a bourbon rose. Um, it's called uh, Latin term Rosa Borboniana, and I was looking for maybe it's it's in a garden or a botanical garden or there's again statue monument. Couldn't make it work, but it was it was one of the ideas that I was working on. Uh, let's see another couple of ideas that people have posted. Uh, Bobby from the Breakfast Tea and Bourbon Facebook group he had an idea for Arrow Rock, Missouri. Nicole from the Breakfast Tea and Bourbon group. Uh, red arrow for a highway sign. I've, I've been looking for arrows. As you know, it's, maybe there's a highway sign for uh, red arrow, bourbon red. Leslie from the Breakfast Tea and Bourbon Facebook group. She found a door handle that was shaped as a peacock on 30 Rockefeller Plaza for um, where NBC works out of in uh, New York City. I thought that was a pretty interesting idea. Uh, Marjorie from the Breakfast Tea and Bourbon Facebook group. Uh, she has a Feather Mountain near Polson, Arizona. These, these are all good ideas, good possible ideas. Maybe you got to take these, twist them a little bit and go a different area. Uh, Jeff from the Cow Lazar's Grand Adventure Facebook group. Uh, he had an idea for there's a city of bullseye in Delaware. And I thought that was another good idea. These are all good ideas. It's a matter of how can we figure out the riddle to get to the answer. And I really hope someone gets it. Uh, but as far as for me, I'm kind of like done with the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle. I've done best I can. I've thrown out as many ideas as I can. Other people have contributed ideas. But this will be my last in the breakfast tea and bourbon inspiration series unless I get inspired by some other idea that somebody did. But uh, that's it. We are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic might, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Have a good one.